Oh, oh my God. Who's got beef? Who's smashing who? Smashing. This is hip hop news. It starts right, 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 right now. Yeah. Gossip. Yeah. 411. One. Yeah. And all the latest tabloid bullshit. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. I got that juice. juice. No AP. She got that juice. That's right. I got your juicy entertainment news for Thursday. Several of Netflix's. Transgender employees have teamed up to organize a walkout, which is going to happen on Wednesday, to address Netflix co-signing of Dave Chappelle's new special, The Closer, as well as some other issues that have been plaguing the workplace around Netflix. But uh, one of the most pressing issues that have inspired the walkout was this, was the suspension of Tara Field, a transgender senior software engineer who recently went off on Netflix and Dave Chappelle on social media. Um, she was suspended for walking into a closed executives meeting with two other co-workers. She's since been reinstated, but an internal Netflix memo, one of the organizers wrote, trans lives matter, trans, trans rights matter, and as an organization, Netflix has continually failed to show deep care in our mission to entertain the world by repeatedly releasing content that harms the trans community and continually failing to create content that represents and uplifts trans content. We can do and we can rather and must do better. Now, of course, this just comes days after Netflix's CEO, Ted Sarandos, defended Dave Chappelle and explained why Netflix has no plans on pulling the closer from its platform. He wrote in, in an internal memo saying, several of you also have asked where we draw the line on hate. We don't allow titles on Netflix that are designed to incite hate or violence, and we don't believe that the, cro the closer crosses that line. So in other words, they're not taking it down, it's staying up, and to be honest with you, if you haven't seen it yet, you gotta check it out. I mean, this is definitely creating a lot of talk, and I think that uh, it could actually work in a different way and actually cause people to resent transgender because, in my opinion, because... I feel like um, there's so much negativity towards it. And I really feel like Dave Chappelle was just trying to bring light to a situation, apologize for something that he did in the past, and fixed it. Um, and he's had several transgender comedians actually come to his, his defense. So if you get a chance, go to Netflix this weekend and check it out. And speaking of checking things out, Monday, you'll have a chance to check out a really fabulous special I'm excited about. The many women in hip-hop who have helped shape the culture are being celebrated. Um, in an ABC news special called Real Queens of Hip Hop, the women who changed the game. It airs Monday at 10 o'clock on ABC and it's narrated by Salt from Salt and Peppa. It's a one-hour program that will include an original spoken word performance by MC Light. That should be fabulous. Scored by uh, hit make producer Wonder Girl. And it will also document the role of women in the birth and the growth of hip-hop, um, they'll have interviews from pioneers like MC Shah Rock, Roxanne Shante, um, as well as Eve Queen, Latifah Trina, DeBrat, Nicki Minaj, Lauren Hill, Money Love, Missy Elliott, and other several key uh, females who are pushing rap forward and also the trailblazers of today, including Megan Thee Stallion, City Girls, and Cardi B. Now, ABC made the announcement on social media, and fans were very quick to point out, where the hell is Kim? You notice we didn't call her name in that list? Um, and uh, they were quick to get on social media and say, how do you leave out little Kim when talking about real queens of hip-hop? Was she not available for an interview? This just feels so wrong to me. And Foxy, no word of Foxy as well. I mean, when we speak on influence and impact, this is a conversation that definitely needs to include the two of them without a doubt. And that's your Juicy Entertainment News for Thursday. Lock it in again tomorrow for more of the juice on the all-new KISS 96. We got the Queen Bee, Lil' Kim. Oh, turn it up. KISS 96.